Hello and welcome. We're so glad that you're here today. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Indiana students. I'm going to go over a couple housekeeping items before we get started. I'm Heather with StriveScan and how, first off, how do you ask a question? You're going to use the Q&A button to type out your question to the presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off. You are muted so, and we can't see your, we can't hear or see you. So please use the Q&A. You can always sign up for more sessions. This is one of many presented, the presentations offered. Check out uh, the website at inacac.org. Recordings will be available. All sessions are being recorded. So please check out the website for any and all sessions um, that you might want to see. And so now I am going to just go ahead and turn it over to our panelists. And here you go. Well, thanks so much, Heather. Um, so my name is Quentin Graves. Uh, we're here, uh, Susan's up there, I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Um, but we're here from Huntington University in Huntington, Indiana. Um, we're super excited to be with you guys. Um, so just a little quick introduction um, from both of us. Like I said, my name is Quentin Graves. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Huntington University. Um, I graduated actually last year, so I always like to say I'm fresh, fresh off the lot. I know where you guys are at. I know what you're feeling. Um, I understand uh, that to a degree, minus the COVID, of course. Um, and then I graduated with majors in um, international development, psychology, and history, and I had a minor in refugee studies. So a little bit of everything across the board. Um, which I really love. And something, we always like to add something fun at the end. One of my favorite things about HU um, is I really love the sense of community that we have. I, I know one of my favorite things is the memories looking back about the times I could spend and um, times with my friends and also professors, um, getting to know them so well um, in our small community that we have here. And I'm Suzanne Watson. I'm the Director of Admissions and I also attended Huntington. So I graduated back in 2011, so coming up on, on 10 years now. Um, but I majored in entrepreneurial small business and history. Um, and I've been working at Huntington for seven, over seven years now. Um, I love Huntington University. Um, my parents actually met at Huntington, so that's how I heard about it. Um, and uh, so I continued on the family tradition by, by coming to HU and becoming a forester. And I have two little kids and a dog and I'm at home tonight. So just fair warning, um, any of them may make some noise at some point. So bear with me if that happens. Um, got two little future foresters running around here. Um, but uh, one of my favorite things about Huntington is um, how beautiful the campus is. We actually uh, take our little family posse over to campus quite often. Quentin has his background there of Lake Snowtip, and this is the most beautiful time of year is the fall. Um, so we can be seen many evenings and weekends uh, walking our dog and rolling with the stroller all over campus. So that's one of my favorite things is uh, just getting to continue to be involved on campus and enjoy it. So, um, so I think we have a few participants who are with us. Um, we would love to hear a little bit about you guys now that we introduced ourselves. And so if, uh, if you guys wouldn't mind just popping in the Q&A and telling us a little bit about yourself, then we can customize a little bit of what we say based on what you are interested in. So if you want to uh, pop open that Q&A, uh, just put down your name, your grade, uh, maybe where you're from and anything you're interested in studying. So you heard from us, I had two majors, Quentin had three and a minor. Um, so if you're not sure exactly what you may want to major in, that's totally fine. Um, we have a lot to choose from. So, uh, so if you want to send those on in, that would be helpful. And undecided is definitely not something to be scared of. It's like my favorite major in the world. I always tell the visitors that come and decided that that's probably the best place to be. I wish I would have taken that advice when I came into college. So if that's your major, uh, no shame. It's definitely one of my favorites. Yep, I was undecided for a while as well. So, um, and also if you do put uh, your info down, then um, we will try to uh, send at least one of our attendees today some swag items. Um, and so go ahead and uh, let us know about you and, um, and then we will do a little drawing at the end. So, 
All right, I see a couple coming in. Thank yeah. you guys. Megan, um, super welcome, Megan. We're super glad you're with us. And Garrett, um, which is super cool. A little bit of difference in interest as well. I see mm -hmm. Megan, you're interested in biochem and uh, sciences, which love that. Um, I was never good at them, but I, I appreciate the knowledge that you probably have on them. And uh, Garrett, um, looking at accounting. So fun fact, I started in accounting before I <laughs> into all the other ones I have. So I have an appreciation for that too. Welcome guys. We're super glad that you're uh, spending the, the evening with us. Yep, absolutely. All right. So we're going to get started with a little bit of a video. So I talked about how much I love campus and you guys may not have been able to be on campus before. So we're going to show you a little bit of a tour from the sky and it was actually filmed in the fall. So you can actually see how beautiful the leaves are. So Quentin, do you have it ready to go? Yeah, one second, I'm just gonna pull up. Make sure I optimize everything. love that video. It uh, yeah. gives you a good sense of, um, of our location and what we look like and um, the feeling you get when you walk across campus. So for sure. And you can even see so much of the student life. Um, they always say pictures worth a thousand words and I, I really love that about that video. Yeah so, um, so you can see from the video that we are um, 
kind of on the edge of town. Uh, there's a lot of trees around where we are. We're in a residential area of town. Um, and our location in the city of Huntington is really fantastic. Um, we, uh, we enjoy really high campus safety um, and marks for that uh, in a good way, uh, just because the city of Huntington is a great place to live um, and uh, the, the crime is very low. So, um, so we love that. Uh, we're in a residential area on the north side of town and we're also just about 30 minutes away from Fort Wayne. So we're really close and a nice drivable distance to uh, be able to have even more opportunities for internships, fun things to do in the evenings or on the weekends, lots of good restaurants and dining. Um, so our location here in Northern Indiana is really fantastic. Yeah, I think one thing that I didn't know when I came in as a student was the amount of like outdoor spaces in Huntington, mm -hmm. uh, the different trails and the waterfalls and the, uh, the city has put a lot of um, money and effort to make it a space that college students can really enjoy and really experience nature. Um, and it does help being close to Fort Wayne or Indianapolis or even a lot of students love to go up to Chicago every um, you know, quarterly to see you know, the, the bean and experience everything, um, which is super fun as well. I know I took a couple trips up there. Um, so we're, we're in a really nice spot to really go in a lot of places around here. And uh, it is great to be connected to those places where you can have internship opportunities and, um, and uh, all kinds of amazing things, which I loved so much. Um, so with that, I, I love to always speak about um, what, what is HU all about? What makes HU, what, what kind of, everyone wants to know what, what kind of makes HU stand apart what, from the other colleges? There's so many um, in this area. Um, and so we have kind of three things um, that really we believe are part of our nature, about who we are here at Huntington and what we stand for. Um, and those are authentic, rooted, um, and then belonging. Um, we're authentic. Um, you know, we're really proud of who we are. Uh, it's just an amazing part about who we are, and I'm really thankful that uh, we're unapologetically small. We're about a thousand students here at Huntington, um, and that allows for some really great possibilities, like I mentioned, where you can really connect with your professors and your fellow students. Um, you really get to get know each other. You become really close, and we actually call it the Forrester family. Uh, you know, when you're here, you're home. Uh, which I'll talk a little bit about when, in belonging, but it's such an important part of who we are. Um, we are really committed to the liberal arts as well. Um, and if you don't know what that is, um, really what that means is that when you come here to get an education, you're going to be really well-rounded. Um, you're going to really um, find a way that in your future, when you actually leave here at Huntington, uh, you're going to be a lifelong learner. And that's what really um, your bosses and employers are going to be looking for um, from the education that you get is that you're well-rounded, that you can be adaptable, that you can, um, you know, your major does matter, uh, but they're going to look at those, those softer skills as well with that, which is so important. Some um, of my favorite classes were in my core curriculum. I really loved, uh, like my sociology class that I had with Dr. Ruthie. Um, mm, I really love loved that. it. It was a fantastic course. So um, not part of my major, but what I learned so much and really appreciated getting to um, have a Christian perspective in those core uh, liberal arts classes. Um, things like philosophy, learning it from the Christian perspective was really cool for me. So. And that's actually how I found my psychology major was I had to take intro to psych and I just fell in love with the, with the with psychology and that field um, so quick. Um, and so never would have been able to experience that if I didn't have liberal arts education, uh, which is awesome. Um, also, we're unflinchingly loyal um, to our mission. Our mission here is Christ, scholarship, and service. Um, you know, we're, we're called to be followers of Christ. Um, through that, you know, we are a Christian uh, higher education, so scholarship is extremely important. It should be a part of our heartbeat and who we are. Um, but, you know, Christ also calls us to go and serve the world, um, not just here locally, but abroad, nationally, and internationally, um, and you definitely have opportunities um, to go and do that um, here at Huntington. Uh, we're rooted. I always like to say that we, we pick the word rooted because since we're the foresters, we love forest puns, so you'll see a lot of that. Um, it either has the word norm in it, which is our mascot, or <laughs> there's a lot of tree puns, which is always super fun. Yes. Um, but we are rooted because of uh, 
in our foundation of our faith and the tradition of our school. Um, and I'm, like I said, I'm a big history buff, so I could probably talk about this for the rest of the night, but I won't bore you too much. Um, but a couple of foundations of, of that being rooted is uh, we're historically welcoming to all. So we started way back in 1897. Um, and from the beginning, we've been welcoming to anyone, no matter of their, their gender or their race or their nationality. Um, we've just been really welcoming. And I love being able to stand on principles like that. Um, we were founded in Christ. Um, and we're still teaching and instilling Christ in everything we do. Um, we, we don't require our students to sign a statement of faith when you come to Huntington. Um, but we think that's an important part of the Christian faith to, to be able to do that. And so we really stand beside that. And so you will still get um, Christ and spiritual formation throughout all of your classes um, and, and in, um, in your just student life and with your friends and everything you do. Um, and so that's an amazing part of who we are as well. Um, and we also are committed to, and we're rooted in really trying to graduate successful students. Uh, we, I know the number for this year just came out that 98% of our students are getting jobs or going into grad school, um, which is really cool. I mean, college is expensive <laughs> and it's really important that after you get through those four years or five years even, which is okay, um, that you can get a job um, out of college um, and, you know, pay back loans that you might take out and, um, but also give back to the Lord with what you've been, you've been provided and, and be able to help out people around you and, and provide for yourself. And that's, that's really important. Um, and then the third word that belonging. So um, with that, like I said, when you're here, you're home. Uh, and when you're here, you're known. So there's professors, there's staff, um, that really, really want to get to know who you are, and they don't even know who you are, and that's what's so amazing. Um, and there's even students. Well, we know uh, when it's kind of cool whenever the students that we do bring from all around the country, you know, I think we have 34 states represented this year, and mm -hmm. how many different countries, Suzanne? I want to say 22 or 25 different awesome. foreign countries, yeah. Yeah, and when they all come together, it's like a big family um, just coming together and uh, doing life, which is so, so cool. And so uh, we would hope that you would like to maybe come in person someday, um, uh, Megan or Garrett, um, and come and visit and experience Hunt Huntington in person, especially if you guys are seniors. Um, it's a little different right now, but we do have in-person visits as well, along with our virtual stuff that we're doing like this. Um, and we'd love for you to experience those three things uh, in person. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, so with that, uh, we wanted to dig in a little bit more into those majors specifically that you guys are interested in, uh, because we know that that's a big part of even deciding if you want to come visit is, um, do they have my major? Is it good? <laughs> and uh, so we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, our majors in general, what academics look like, as well as digging into uh, biochem and accounting in particular. So uh, some of our most popular areas uh, the health sciences in general is a really big uh, chunk of our students. So um, biochem fits right in there with the biology, chemistry, pre-med uh, and that group of students. Uh, we also have nursing, occupational therapy, uh, exercise science, and all of those are pretty big for us as well. Um, another big group would be uh, business. So that includes accounting, management, marketing, finance, econ and finance, entrepreneurship, and sports management. Um, education is another big area, uh, everything from elementary up through high school education and special education. And then the digital media arts are another big uh, group of our students. The digital media arts includes film, animation, and broadcasting. So we've got a really, really strong digital media arts program at Huntington and they consistently win dozens of awards every single year. They're truly amazing. So um, it's a really top-notch program there. Uh, and then I would say maybe Christian thought and practice um, would be a, a big area where we have uh, a variety of ministry degrees and uh, Bible and theology courses, as well as agriculture is kind of a unique uh, one for us, being a Christian college, there aren't too many Christian schools that offer uh, agriculture degrees, and we have 
quite a good variety of those, ag business, crop science, animal science, uh, ag education. So um, there's a lot of other ones too. It's hard not to be able to say all of them, um, but we have over 70, closer to 80, I think. So it would take too long. <laughs> Are there any others you want to give a shout out to, Quentin? Yeah, I mean, I always want to give a shout out to the history department, but yes. uh, I, they're part, I'm a little partial. But um, yeah, I, I did, kind of going back to the animation uh, department, I always love to talk about things that they're doing because everyone knows of different, like different things that they've worked on that alumni have done. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things like VeggieTales and Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse. And I even uh, actually just saw a graduate from last year is working on a movie called Apollo 10 and a half with Jack Black. So if you guys see that come out, an HU uh, student actually worked on that. Uh, I think that's coming out in the next year or so, um, which is super cool. It's just cool to, you know, we're Huntington, Indiana, small town Huntington, Indiana, and these major blockbuster films are kind of getting birthed um, here in our, in our backyard, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. so. Yep, absolutely. And even like TV shows too. Um, we had a, it was actually one of our theater students was uh, on Arrested Development, very, very small little uh little role and um then one of our uh grads in the film program helped with american idol so that was fun so anyway um yeah some uh recognizable names there um yeah so specifically for um i'm gonna start with accounting because i was a business major so specifically for our business majors um, we have some really fantastic professors that all have a lot of really good business background. So they come with industry experience into being teachers. And that's really helpful because they can really relate what you're learning in class to what they've experienced in the real world. Um, so really good professors uh, in the business department and really, really good opportunities to get internship experience. Um, so we have uh, pretty much every business student will do at least one internship and many of them are doing like multiples uh, throughout their entire time. And so uh, you'll likely get to do an on campus as well as an on campus internship in accounting. Um, we help connect you with uh, internship opportunities. If you need that, you may have connections already, but, uh, but we can certainly help uh, find accounting firms and connect you with, uh, with those um, with those jobs that are or internships that are available. And uh, then on campus, we have a student run business by their business department, uh, actually two different student run businesses, I believe. And um, so there's opportunities to be involved with those, get paid and get some really good experience with those on campus businesses as well. A lot of those uh, internships, I know I was listening to Brock Zare, who's one of our, Dr. Brock Zare is one of our professors. Um, they lead to jobs. Majority of the time in the business mm -hmm. world, you know, those accounting internships specifically um, for you, Garrett, those those do lead to jobs, which is really cool. Um, it helps that our professors are best friends with these CEOs <laughs> that are that are getting the internships for you. Um, so that goes a long way. It's all about the networking for sure. Um, and Megan, you're interested in biochem, which is super cool. Like I said, I was never granted the gift of the knowledge of science. So um, my heart goes out to you, I'm sure. You're way smarter than I am, um, but that's a great program as well. I know that our chemistry department, um, for um, the size of our school, it has some of the most um, technologically advanced chemistry um, uh, devices. I know that Ruth, Dr. Ruth Nalia, who, who kind of uh, leads up the department, our chemistry department, um, she loves to like take students through and show all of her toys, as she calls them, uh, that they get to do all kinds of fun stuff with. So Dr. Aaron Baker or Dr. Ruth Nalia, they're really great um, to really connect with. And they'll, sh you know, if you ever come to Huntington, they would love to show you around all the fun stuff that they got going on. Um, but our biochem majors too, they have really great, I know biochem is a, is a pre-courser a lot or prereq to going into pharmacy um, or just going into the, 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 you know, pharmacy world in general. And so you definitely have tons of um, options and you're going to be really get a great basis um, to go on and do those master doctoral level courses um, that you may want to do. Um, and if you want to just, you know, go work right out of your bachelor's, you'll be well prepared as well. Like I said, you'll have that liberal arts education that you can really, really soar with, um, which is really cool. 
Um, but I'm always surprised uh, with our biochem program. They're so great. Um, and they're always doing great things like the accolades that they have with the graduates as well um, are, you know, that every year I hear about new doctors or new students getting into a doctoral program. Um, you know, I think we have students at like Ohio State, Michigan State, um, Indiana University, of course, um, Purdue University. I'm trying to think of them all, but those are the ones I can think of on my top of my head that are biology or biochem um, majors or um, that have gone in and, get, and gotten into doctoral school, um, thanks to not just recommendations from faculty, but, you know, just allowing students to, you know, do well on like the MCATs, if you're looking at going that far, um, they really prepare and, and really help you um, get to those levels and reach whichever goal, whatever goal you want to get to, um, they're going to really walk beside you and walk with you in that, which is really awesome. Yeah, I think it's, um, is it a 95% acceptance rate into med school? Yeah. So Megan, if that is your goal to go to med school, we got you covered. One of the greatest things about uh, doing the sciences at a small school um, is that our professors really care about you being successful. So a lot of uh, a lot of the time, people just assume that you're going to go to a big research uh, research school. Um, but going to a small school, you actually have people who will invest in you who will actually let you do research as an undergrad, which is really, really cool. Uh, you get to go to conferences and present your own research as an undergrad, which is phenomenal. Um, and uh, work directly with the professors. Uh, you won't be working under a TA um, or, uh, you know, you'll, you'll actually be able to work with the professors themselves. Uh, and they really invest and pour into our students and help our students be successful rather than just trying to weed students out of the program. So it's challenging. It is a, you know, biology and chemistry are two of our toughest majors, I would say. Um, but the difference is, is that our professors really want you to be successful. So they work with you every step of the way. So, um, so yeah, like Quentin said, our, our grads uh, from the sciences are very, very successful. So, um, so it's a great thing to study at Huntington. Yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the things to do other than classes, because we know that classes are fun and all, but uh, there's a lot of a lot to college life outside of the classroom. Um, so we didn't ask you earlier if you were interested in any specific extracurriculars, but if you are, please feel free to drop a note or drop a note in the Q&A and we will take a look at that and speak to uh, what you guys are interested in specifically. But I am not athletic at all, so I was not an athlete here at Huntington, um, but I got very involved with the Student Activities Board. I was a board member, and uh, so I was one of those people that was at every single activity on campus all four years. And so we do things like uh, Olympiad Weekend, which is actually, is that coming up, I think, next weekend yeah, here on campus? I think so. Yeah, uh, it's usually at the end of October. My favorite weekend on campus mm. is just an Olympic style free for all that uh, literally everybody gets in, involved with. Um, so super fun. And we do things like the hoedown, we do an Easter egg hunt, uh, sand volleyball tournament. Um, yeah, all sorts of different things throughout the year uh, and lots of longstanding traditions, which are really neat. So, um, so you can participate in those traditions and that sense of belonging with that. Yeah, and I was um, part of the Student Government Association. I did all, I also did not do sports, so I feel like sports is underrepresented. I did attend a lot of sports events. Um, I know you did too, so, mm -hmm. so um, but uh, I was part of um, SGA. Um, I was a student body president for a year uh, and, a, and a representative um, for a year prior to that, um, and it, you know, it was a, what I really love about Huntington is when you come in as a freshman, um, if you want to get involved in a leadership position, there's nothing holding you back. Um, you can jump right in to being a, a freshman representative on SGA and represent an entire class of, of uh, you know, I don't know how many, 200 students, roughly, 250 students. Yeah. Um, and so, which is really cool. Um, and so, you know, they're all voting for you and you get to represent them on SGA, which is really, really cool. Um, and then in your sophomore year, you can apply to be an RA, you can apply to be on Student Activities Board, you can apply to be on J Noise, which is our um, Joyful Noise Band. So if you guys play any instruments uh, or play at church, 
um, Joyful Noise or J Noise is our, our chapel worship band. You can get involved there, um, which is really cool. And so we also have Undignified, which is a dance group. So if either of you, it's men, it's a men and women's um, dance, informal dance club that just meets. And then they do two performances a year, typically. Um, and if you want to just do it for one semester, because you're not too you know, you're not too busy, but the next one you are more busy. You can, it's all free. It's free to kind of choose when you want to go and when you don't want to go, which is really cool. So you can definitely get involved there. Um, and we have like over, um, you know, 70 plus clubs and organizations, which is really, really cool. So you can definitely get involved, you know, not just in, you know, you'll get involved in your majors as well. There's clubs in each one of those. Um, like Susan was saying, like, you know, if you're, for accounting, you might get involved in clear insights or, um, or different clubs in the business department, or you, Megan, you might get involved in clubs in the science department. Um, but you know, you can. There's really a ton of things to do, um, which is really great um, to help build that community. Yeah, a lot of our science students like to get involved in the horticulture club, um, mm -hmm. and they do a lot of cool things. They work in our greenhouse. They um, maintain our trail system on campus. Um, they uh, uh, plant plant flowers and uh, green spaces on campus. So they do a lot of cool stuff. Um, and uh, then in terms of athletics, we do have 17 different athletic teams. We are NAIA, um, basketball, uh, baseball, soccer are probably the, uh, the three that I went to the most when I was a student, but we've got uh, volleyball, tennis, track, cross country. Uh, our track and cross country teams have been doing amazing last year and this year. They are just phenomenal. Um, we have bowling. Um, what am I missing, Quentin? Did volleyball. I get them all? Volleyball. Oh, and volleyball. golf. Yep, we have golf, golf too. And Softball. we have an ultimate frisbee club. It's mm -hmm. not a sport, but we do have an ultimate frisbee club if you're interested in that. So. Yeah. And then a lot of intramurals. So if you're not like super athletic, but you like just playing with friends um, and staying active, then you can uh, you can join one of our intramural teams and have a lot of fun with that um, and become a champion that way. Uh, and uh, then there's just a lot of fun stuff that happens on campus in the residence halls. So Quentin mentioned earlier RAs. Um, so the RAs and CMCs are campus ministry coordinators. They're in charge of the spiritual life for the res halls. Um, they do a lot of programming in the, in the res halls to foster that sense of community and that sense of belonging. And just um, upperclassmen who live on the floors really pour into the underclassmen, um, take them under their wing and uh, help you with that transition to college, figuring out college life and uh, what it means to start doing adult things. So uh, the res life is really cool at Huntington. And, uh, you can stay in the same Reds Hall all four years if you want, which is a really neat aspect of our community life, I think. One of my favorite parts was uh, when I was a freshman, I was looking up to seniors that lived right next to me and lived right around me in Wright Hall, Wright Hall for life. Um, and and then also when I was a senior, seeing the new freshmen come in and, and being able to like, you know, take them under my wing for the year and help them show them the ropes, so to speak, of Huntington. So love love that uh, we're going to show you a quick video actually just to show you it's about a 30 second video but it'll show you what student life is like um, here in Huntington so let me pull that up real quick this is how we like to do it Love that video it's short but it highlights so many fun things about Huntington and a lot of the things that we actually talked about tonight which is cool yeah, Olympiad undignified gospel choir oh so much good stuff it's good it's good all right well we are getting uh, fairly close to our time we have about 10 minutes left so I want to get to um, some of the application process and the next steps from here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
pull up a PowerPoint that's going to walk us through the next steps in the admissions process. Um, so um, as a uh, once you get to senior year, um, I know uh, some of you watching may be seniors and others may be juniors. So, uh, so seniors, now is the application time. Um, our application actually opens the, the summer before the, your senior year. So it's been open for a while now at huntington.edu slash apply. And it's a pretty quick application. It usually takes about 20 minutes or so. Uh, so it's really not too bad. We are not on the Common App. Um, we only have our uh, website application. Um, and our application fee is actually waived through December 1st. So we would suggest going ahead and applying uh, here in the next couple weeks, actually, because if you apply by November 1st um, and send us your FAFSA, then you can be included in our first round of financial aid offers. So a little incentive to uh, go ahead and get that in soon. Um, so after you apply, you'll want to go ahead and send us your transcripts and your test scores. Uh, all of our students submit an official high school transcript. Um, so you can go ahead and send that our way. And then this year, the big question is, do I need test scores? So uh, we are test optional for admission. And so you can submit test scores if possible, if you have them. And if you don't, uh, you can complete our supplemental application. So that stands in, instead of the test scores, that gives us a little bit of extra information that we can use to uh, help evaluate if you're going to be a good fit for Huntington. So if you don't have test scores, you can just fill out that supplemental application. And you can find that right on our website on the admissions page. There's a whole section about the admissions process. So you can read through there and click uh, directly to the supplemental app um, from our website. But if you do have test scores, go ahead and send them. Um, it won't hurt you, but it can help you. Uh, it can help with placement. Um, you might be able to skip a math, math placement test if you have good enough scores there. Um, you can also, um, if you're an education major, use it to waive some of your education testing. Uh, and then it can also just help with some outside scholarships. So while we won't be using the test scores to make scholarship decisions, um, there are definitely a lot of uh, outside scholarships out there uh, community foundation things and uh, local scholarships that they may still want a test score in order to qualify for that. So we suggest still taking it when you can, uh, submitting it when you can, uh, just for those other reasons. And if you have questions about test optional, please feel free to send them in. I know it can be confusing and every school seems like they're doing it a little bit differently. So we want to alleviate any concerns uh, that you might have. So once you've sent in uh, your transcript and either test scores or supplemental application, then uh, we go ahead and admit students. So we are admitting students on a rolling basis throughout the year. That means that we don't have an official deadline. So you can apply whenever and uh, usually get your decision back within a couple of weeks after submitting everything. So we don't keep you waiting for too long, um, but we like to go ahead and get you that acceptance packet as soon as possible. So then you can you know, start narrowing things down and uh, making your decision. And another big part of making your decision is financial aid. So the big thing for financial aid is that you need to do the FAFSA. So if you are a senior, you may have already done the FAFSA because it opened back on October 1st. So it's been open for almost two weeks now. Uh, so those overachievers may have already done it. If, uh, if you have, give yourself a pat on the back. Um, if not, you have until uh, April 15th to complete it. And that's for the state of Indiana. Uh, they ask uh, everybody to have it done by April 15th to be eligible for state aid as well as federal aid. So typically we wait for your FAFSA to come in to put together your financial aid award letter. And when we do put together your award letter, um, we include any merit scholarship that you have earned, as well as need-based scholarships. And so that would be based on the FAFSA. Um, you may also qualify for some other scholarships, like I mentioned before, through your school, your guidance office, your community foundation, uh, your parent's employer, 
there are so many different places that you may uh, check into for outside scholarships. You can also get loans um, through the federal government or a private lender. And we also offer work study. So I actually was a work study student at Huntington. I worked in the library. It was a great job. Um, and there's a ton of jobs available at Huntington uh, to earn a little bit of money while, you, uh, while you're a student. Quentin, you got anything? No, I was going to say, uh, you can only guess what, where I worked at Huntington, the admissions office. <laughs> That's right. I gave tours too, actually. I had two yeah. jobs. <laughs> yeah. So um, Quentin mentioned earlier, there's a couple different types of visit opportunities come up. We have a whole list of visit opportunities. So we thank you so much for being a part of our session, our virtual session here tonight. Um, we would also love to meet you in person. So we're doing in-person campus visits daily. We have a 9.30 and a 1.30 visit slot. So you can uh, come with, uh, with two guests and uh, we have done everything we can to make it as COVID compliant as possible. And we'll uh, try to keep you safe while you're here um, while still letting you see everything that you wanna see. Uh, getting to meet professors, see uh, the facilities because that uh, is really good uh, to get to see things in person and just imagine yourself here. Um, we're also doing some in-person department days. So uh, those are limited to certain departments. I know um, the digital media arts, visual art, uh, nursing, uh, there may be a few others that are doing some in-person uh, department days this fall. We're also doing uh, virtual visits, so we can individualize a virtual visit for you guys. Um, so you'd meet with your admissions counselor, a professor, you'd get a more in-depth tour um, and uh, meet with a coach if you're interested in that. So we can set up a virtual visit. Um, we're also doing some virtual academic open houses. So those are uh, starting here at the end of October and will probably run through November, but different academic departments will be hosting just like a one hour thing where you can come in, meet some professors, meet some students, uh, get to see what makes that department unique. And also, um, you know, the people that you study with are so important. And uh, so you get to really meet some of the people that, that make, make our school one of the best. Um, so those open houses I think are gonna be really cool. Uh, we're also doing some really fun live virtual tours. Uh, every Thursday at 4 p.m., we hop on a golf cart with a phone and we ride around campus. So um, it's really fun and uh, we'd love to have you guys along for the ride uh, for that. And then we're doing a res hall open house because we're not able to show res halls during the semester on the tour because students are living there and we want to try to keep everyone safe. But we're inviting back all of our seniors on December 21st to come back and see the res halls in person. So I'm pretty pumped about that. I think it's gonna be a fun day. We'll do a little hall crawl. Um, we'll probably have lunch on campus. So everybody will be out of school by then. So we hope everyone can make it. So that is it for, uh, for the upcoming opportunities. Um, but there are a couple dates to remember, the FAFSA, uh, we've got some admitted student stuff in the spring registration and then move in. So that is it. Uh, that is it for me. Awesome. So Megan or Garrett, do you guys, we have a couple minutes, it looks like only one or two, but do you guys have any questions specifically that you want to throw into the Q&A that we can maybe answer real quick? No, that's okay too. We're just happy that you're here. Yes. And I believe StriveScan will be sending us your info. So uh, we'll get both of you guys a, uh, uh, a little item for attending. Oh, and I do have a question here. We have had a club that does esports. It's not an official team, uh, but we do have a club on campus of guys that get together and, uh, and they have a lot of fun. And we are uh, regionally accredited, which is through the HLC. It's kind of the gold standard in accreditation. So you would not have any trouble with credits transferring to any other accredited institution. Hopefully that answered your question. Anything else?
Okay. Well, thank you guys for joining us. I think we're about to get cut off here at the end, um, but we thank you for joining us and um, we look forward to staying in touch with you guys. Thanks guys, it's super nice meeting you virtually. Well, thank you very much. I'm gonna share my screen really quick just for some house, the final things. We really appreciate it. That was a great session. I, I think I wanna go. <laughs> so you'll get a quick survey after you close out this browser. It's four questions. We would love for you to tell us what you think. Definitely sign up for more sessions. Check out the website and you can find more. And again, recordings will be available. This session and all the sessions will be on the website as well. And we really appreciate you spending your evening with us and hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thanks again.